What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be making a tutorial on the brush pack I created for you guys. The link is in the bio if you would like to buy the brush pack for yourself. It's only $3, man. So, if you would like to follow along with my next tutorials, just go ahead and purchase that brush pack, man. Three dollars, three dollars. I think it's like three thirty, three thirty-five. But yeah, link in the bio, man. I'm gonna um, select the color black. Let me go to one. Of, go to the brush pack, and we're gonna start with the first one. So, step it real quick. It's zero. Gonna bring it up, scale it up the size. I'm finna make a copy of it by duplicating that layer. Go to the second layer right here, and I just came up with a new method. We're gonna hold this color black, and we're gonna drop that color black inside there, like that, and also. Let's uh go to the regular brushes. You feel me? And fill that in. I'm gonna fill all this in like that. You feel me? And let's uh on this layer, let's click it, hit select, and let's find a nice little skin tone to start out with. And drag and drop it right there. The reason you want to create a selection around your color layer so it won't allow you to color outside of that layer. Now we're going to create a new layer in between. Let's find us a dark shadow to color. We're gonna zoom in. And let's start right here with the nose. And notice how I'm just resizing my brush when I want the fade to like really spread out. I make my brush a little bigger. Then I color light. When I want it sharper, I make it smaller and I color harsh. So you just gotta have a perfect balance between the two. And y'all please forgive me my touch screen. Don't wanna listen, bro. Like working with what I got, man. After we done color that nose in, let's come up here to these eyes. We're gonna create a shadow line right here. Make it a little bigger. Color this in harsh. That's the deep shadow. One thing I got to do, I got to keep glancing up at my computer, making sure the stream don't turn off on me. I can't even trust my computer, bro. See, make this dark. Just tackling all the dark tones. You know what I'm saying? Now, make our brush a little smaller. Let's create that line right here. After I create that line, make it a little bigger 
so we can get that fade going up like this get that fade going up have a light I'm using the Apple pencil as well you gotta have that that light touch too man and I'm gonna edit this video and repost it for you guys so I can um, clean it up as far as when the when the iPad went out when the connection dropped And I'm going to leave it in real time so you guys can really take your time and follow along. But notice how I never went to choose another color. All I'm doing is changing the size of my brush and the pressure I'm using. Like I'm going light to get the light tone. And then when I want to get super dark, I use, I get a little more firm with my pressure. So, just keep that in mind. Make my breast smaller so I can have more control. Make it a little bigger so I can start getting that, that line I need to come around. When I need it to fade more, I make it bigger so it'll have a spread to it. over like this all right let me rush this little line because I see I made a mistake and put a little spit right there all right now we're gonna put a little dark shadow Go back to my brush. A little dark shadow right here on this forehead. Really harsh. Make it bigger, and then we're gonna shade light. Light shadow it's coming out from that. Come 
Cause it's all about transitioning from dark to light. That's all it's about, man. Mastering that transition, and you a master shader. Okay, let's put a put a dark tone right here. And if you guys would like, I would make the same heads I did for um, Procreate for Adobe. If that's what y'all want. Or do y'all want some new heads for Adobe? Just let me know. Or both. I'm going to do both. Y'all just let me know in the comments. That was up, VB. Stay, stay grinding, bro. I what we finna do? We finna make under this neck harsh. some shading on his ear so let's make this brush smaller you know what I'm saying so we can get inside there and get that detail so pretty much we just gonna trace it trace it like this and notice just like I'm reminding y'all man this is one tone we use See how we utilize this one tone, but we we give it, we gave it a nice little blend. Pressure, that's all it is. Pressure make a difference. How hard you color, how light you color, yeah, that make a difference. So, just keep that in mind, man. Utilizing pressure.
now that we got our skin tone color and then even if you want to make that tone darker just say all you got to do is come up here to hue saturation and brightness and you just pull it pull it down a little tad just so you can see your tones pop out a little more if you would like you know what i'm saying but i like them how they work to be honest keep them like that let's uh create us another layer right above that one and let's make it make it our highlight layer you know so come down here we'll put a little highlight right there highlight right here we ain't gonna go too crazy with it we just gonna put it in spots that are normally be down here make sure my damn computer ain't shutting off on me boy make it bigger Remember what I said, you make your brush bigger, it'll spread more. So, that's why we make our brush bigger. Let's come up here to the fade. And, um, let's add us a little fade right there. Let's put a highlight mark on his neck, like here. Let's put one right here. It's cheap. Also, don't forget that nose. On right here, like that. Let's put up one little, make it smaller. Let's put some highlights right here. Let go up, highlight go down. Also, put one in this corner right here. Like that. If you put one in this crease right here, no, put one right above this lip. Now we did, we did the shading for the skin, so now we're gonna do. We can take our um the little alpha lock off. So I mean take a oh yeah selection was already off. I forgot once you hit this S at the top it I thought it turned it off. No, just turn hit turn selection. Alright, selection is off. Create us a new layer. Now we finna color his lips. So Find a nice little tone for his lips. Alright. And when I color the lips, I always make the the top lip darker than the bottom. So that's how I do it. First little tutorial at the part. Put this underneath the skin layer. I'm gonna go to our color white. Color the inside of his eyes. And then we'll put a nice little shadow in the inner eye. Like that. Also, let's create a selection around the top line work. Create a selection. Let's bring our brush down to like a dark gray with a little tint in it. Let's go down to um, organic. The organic brush and then you want to go to clay. Okay, let's check out cotton. Let's see how cotton look. And we're going to add a little cotton brush right here just a little bit 
laptop. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna make it a little brighter. Then we're gonna go to the clay. And we're gonna get close around the edges. Like, like this. You feel me? There you have it, you guys. First tutorial at the park. We did that using our um using our brushes, man. Uh oh. Put a little background color on them, the boot. And there you have it. How you work on your game, man. And if you want to take it further, you know what I'm saying? Spots, you know, it'll be darker tones at. Feel free, man. Don't just stop here. This tutorial is just something where you can warm up your skills, man. You can follow along and I kind of let you ride the training wheels for a little bit and then you get off and you start doing your own thing man but feel free to venture out and and take it to that next level man but the the main brush i use for shading is my it's that noise brush inside of procreate you know what i'm saying only thing i would do here is just make underneath this neck it's darker Like that. That's about it. Probably not that dark. I hope I put it on this own layer. So we can just bring no opacity down just a tad. Probably right there. You know what I'm saying? Sample that color that we just brought opacity down on. Come up here. Do the same thing, man. Get that spread a little bit. But yeah, man. Have fun, man. Practice on your skills. That's what this that's what this pack is for, for real, you guys. It's for you guys to practice on shading. As you learn how to shade, you'll be able to take your art skills to a, to the next level, man. For real. For real, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. I'm going to edit this video and repost it for you guys. And I'm going to leave it up forever. And we out.